New at noon, shocking details emerging about a car crash that ended with a carjacking. Nine on your side's Allie Kramer just spoke to police and has the latest from Independence. This is the story of a good Samaritan turned victim, turned hero, all after a violent crime that typically doesn't happen here in Independence. Uh, it was disturbing what we found out in the process. Shortly after 6 o'clock this morning, Kenton County Dispatch received a 911 call about a car into a pole on Cox Road. But when officers arrived, they discovered a much more serious violent crime had occurred. She had arrived on scene after the first collision. Subject, a male subject, described male white, balding, uh, in his 30s, got out of the vehicle, ran to her vehicle, jumped in the front seat and asked her to drive him from the scene. Police say the suspect threatened her with a gun, but never showed one. She drove a very short distance to the bottom of Cox Road when the suspect began hitting her in the face, but they weren't alone. She was forced out of the vehicle and uh, was getting her child out of the vehicle. In the back seat, a young child rescued just before the suspect got in the driver's seat and sped away, actually running over the mother's feet in the process. I'm picturing a young lady pulling up on a what looked to be a horrific wreck. I would presume she was doing what most decent people would do, making certain the occupant is safe. I don't think anyone would ever expect someone to leave their vehicle, jump in their own uh, vehicle like he did, and uh, do what he did. Less than three hours after the carjacking, Kentucky State Police spotted the stolen car. A short chase followed, but we're told the suspect is now in custody and will face numerous charges. Reporting in Independence, Allie Kramer, 9 on your side. And as Allie speaks this just into the newsroom, Kentucky State Police have identified that suspect. Police say 35-year-old Justin Bolin of LaGrange, Kentucky, led them on a chase on I-71 this morning. After crossing all northbound and southbound lanes, they say uh, Bolin crashed in a ditch. He is now facing 13 charges, including wanton endangerment of a police officer and marijuana possession.